hey my loves get into this color if you would like to see how i got it please stay tuned don't go anywhere i got you so guys we are going to be using the watercolor method to achieve this color i am using temptations ruby red and i'm also using adores crimson to achieve this color um i started off with getting some water um i used the hot water from my sink because it was i'm um, hot enough it doesn't have to be boiling hot water guys the water from your sink is just fine your hair will take to the color the hair that i am using is the 613 hair from yolisa's hair i love this hair i made the wig myself i got the bundles in 26 24 22 and an 18 inch frontal i went ahead and made the wig myself and i'm just excited for this color guys you have no idea What I'm doing here is just putting the color into the water. Um, I plan on using the whole bottle, so I just open the cap and just dump the whole thing in there just to save you some time because we're trying to get this color going. guys don't be like me i don't know why i was acting like a rookie and dumping my whole freaking hand into the color as if it wasn't gonna stain my hands or stain my nails but don't be like me definitely use some gloves and you know get right <laughs> okay This is me realizing that the color was definitely going to stain my nails. So your girl just dipped her other hand into the dye. So therefore it can match. Okay. I was trying to match. Okay. So don't blame me. But I already started. So I might as well just go with it. You know to have my nails match. But no worries. It ended up washing off clean with some soap. Okay. So after that, I got right and I got my gloves on. And what I did was I left a little piece of 613 hair out. And I used that piece just to test out the dye to see if it was the color that I wanted it to be. And yes, it was. Look at that color. That's the color that I was trying to achieve. You know, and I did this because I wasn't sure how, you know, what kind of red that it was going to give me. So I just wanted to make sure that it was the red that I wanted before i you know went ahead and did my whole wig because what you don't want is for you to dip your whole wig in some color and it's not the color that you want so you know i added you know the rest of the the ruby red because at this point i was fine with the color it wasn't gonna hurt it so i was good what i'm doing here is i took another um bowl this is deeper i realized that the bowl that I was mixing the dye in is going to be a little shallow for my wig. So I went ahead and transferred it over to a deeper bowl. So therefore I could be able to sink my wig in 
and it be saturated completely, you know. Next, I am just going to put the whole entire wig into the bucket and just that's it. This process is literally so simple, guys. As you can see, the wig is already red. So what I'm making sure is that I don't miss a spot that every piece of blonde hair is covered with red because you don't want a patchy wig, guys, especially with a process this simple. So as you can see, I'm going through the wig and making sure that I don't miss a spot. And that's it, guys. It's just that simple. After I finished coloring the hair, all I did was I conditioned the hair and just let it air dry and that was it. I did not use shampoo on this hair because I did not want to strip the hair of the color that we just put on it. So all I used was um, conditioner and here I'm showing you guys that the hair, that the color did not get on the lace at all. So do not worry about it getting on your lace. I got this unit installed by the good sis Debbie Styles. I will go ahead and link her Instagram down below. Please make sure you check her out. She did an amazing job. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in another one.